Well, good 4th of July, Friday weekend morning, everybody. Some of you that may have watched my trip to the museum video will recall I showed you that lump of melted pennies from that building that burned down. Well, I just got permission to metal detect that area, Proxima area, where that building was. Um, it's in between our hardware and our butcher shop, so I'm headed up there to check it out and see if I can find anything. And check into getting another permission for another old house in the town. In town. So we'll see you shortly. Well, you can't see much here, but there's a big empty lot right behind all these lilac bushes. So we're going to give it a shot. Well, first line of the day was a 1979 penny, about four inches down. But I got all this area to do. We've done it before, but it was many, many years ago, probably 20 years ago. So, onward. Got a good signal here for, I would say, a dime. We can find it. That ended up being a bottle cap. There's a little setting on here called iron to scrim. If you turn it on and you're going over something that sounds like a coin, but it's actually iron, it'll do this little growly sound, and I keep forgetting to use it. I think I should use it more. I won't end up digging so much trash. Signal here. Most likely a penny, but we'll see. Well, there was two somethings in that hole. Big old metal cap of some type and a big old nail. Let's keep going. Signal here. Could be a dime, we'll see. Not a dime, just a solid copper 1975 penny. That was pretty easy to find though. We need some old stuff, like melted together globs of pennies. Let's keep going. So far, just a couple pennies and junk. Let's see what we got here. Well, this ended up being a bottle cap, a screw on, but it says look under liner. There was nothing there except for a bunch of little roots that form the shape of the cap. I haven't really covered any of this ground, so but it's getting a little bit warm right now. I might come back later this evening. I'm gonna keep going for a little bit right now, though. How interesting, I got a really good signal. Go figure, it's another piece of brass. That's four pieces of brass I found since yesterday. Three yesterday, one today. Pretty uncommon. We're going to keep going. This is the best signal I've got so far. Our strongest and with the best numbers. Let's see what we got. Deep. And, uh, here's what the iron audio sounds like. There's still something down there, but it's quite deep, and I ain't digging that deep for a piece of rusty iron. I 
like that signal. Let's see what we got. Well, it was such a strong signal because there was three rusty nails and there's still stuff in there I left. But I found evidence of this being the spot where something burned down. This is either really, really burnt wood or coal. And if it's coal, there was definitely something turn of the century here. Don't find coal very often. Right now it's getting really warm in the sun and I did not wear shorts. We'll pick up on this area perhaps this evening if Tracy's feeling up to it. Always double check your holes. I was about to give up on this because it seems like there's something still down there. But I was checking the dirt around it and there was a quarter in there. 1965 missed silver by one year. Had it been 64 or prior, it would have been a silver quarter. But I'll take it. All right, we're back for more. I did all along that edge the other day when I was here. I didn't make it back that night. It was too freaking hot. It's like, what, 8 o'clock right now. Yeah. Waited till it cooled off, so it didn't really we're cool going to go this way. But I have high hopes that we'll find something cool here. We shall see. So we've been here less than five minutes and got two great signals, but both turned out to be pennies. What was the first one? 70, 67. Yeah. This one's a 64. That's an old one. <laughs> We're getting there. I have high hopes for this area, so we'll see. Of course that's old. Okay, what is it? 1957. We've been... 15 minutes here now and pulled a dime and four pennies and just pulled that penny out. It's 1957. Wheat penny. Wheat penny. So yay. That's the year my sister was born. Definitely a lot of, everything's been old so far. So that's a good sign. Well, we know this building has been here since 1920. Yeah, this building right here next to us is very, very old. It's the slaughterhouse. Don't it just is and it still is and it always has been so but yeah so this is over a hundred years old right here so on we go all right we're gonna live dig this one we just got a pretty good signal for a dime or an older penny hopefully I didn't miss it by much appears I missed it Didn't miss it by much. This is another coin. It's a memorial penny. It's a 1979. The older pennies ring up real strong because there's lots of copper in them. So, oh well, we were hoping for a dime. We've been so busy digging holes we haven't remembered to film much of anything. We're doing pretty good if you consider finding pennies good. <laughs> That's probably what this will end up being too. Thought I saw it. junk. Well, that's an interesting piece of junk. It is. Oh, it's a little case. It's closed. Yeah. Huh. Probably nothing in it, but we'll open it when we get home. Huh. Yeah, there's no way to tell what it was. Well, that's an interesting little fine. We'll let it's you an know interesting thing. what it is. I believe we've got at least a dime here. Or another older 
a penny with lots of copper in it. And yes, this happens. The incredible vanishing signal. side of the hole. That's why it was throwing us. Just another memorial penny. All that for a penny. Can't tell what the date is. It's kind of corroded. Can't tell either. Take them home and get some light on them. Well, guys, if you count finding coins, even if they're pennies as success, then we're tearing it up tonight. <sighs> Two Wheaties so far and a dime. There's something here, too. signal. There it is. That is <coughs> corroded. Or old. It's a weedy. Another weedy. Awesome. We'll Very corroded, but another weedy. Clean these up when we get home and find out what the dates are, but that's really good, guys. Three weedies, a dime, and some regular pennies. And we've done this area like 20 years or so ago, and I've got my first good detector, which would have been my second detector, right? My Garrett 550. We come in here, but that was a long time ago, so, and good. still finding old things, so that's promising for this area. Things get pushed to the surface from the frost, frost every yeah. year. Oh, and most important of all, guys, barrier, fill in your holes. All holes matter as the, uh, Oh, what's them guys called? Hoover Boys? Hoover Boys say, all holes matter. But, remember to fill them in. We've, we've been places before where you can tell somebody else was there because they just dug holes and left them, and it was like, you know, those are the kind of people that make us, they give us a bad name. And then people don't want to give you permission to metal detect because they've seen what other a-holes or a-holes have done in the past. Yeah. All right, onward. Good coin signal. This is going to be the last one for tonight. We're both kind of hot and sweaty. Even though it's gorgeous out, it's still kind of like hard work sometimes. We'll dig this one up and let you see what it is. Memorial. 
memorial penny. Just another memorial penny. Okay, so the last one we had was a memorial penny. Surprise, surprise. We'll see about this one. If you're wondering why we refer to them too as the memorial pennies, some of our some of our friends that aren't from the U.S. and maybe even some of you in the U.S. don't know, but on the back of our penny is the Lincoln Memorial. Isn't it that right there? I guess it is. Yes. But on the back of our pennies is the Lincoln Memorial. It used to be the words one cent and then it had two sheaves of what looked like wheat and one on either side of the one cent on the edges of the coin, which is why we call those wheaty pennies. Those are wheat pennies and then the one, the newer style with the memorial on the back are memorial pennies. And then the ones that they print nowadays, mint nowadays, are basically zinc with a very, very paper thin layer of copper over them. And it doesn't matter what's on those because you're not going to find them in a couple years. They are just destroyed. They look like they look like acid has eaten away at them just from being in the ground. No one's ever going to be digging those up. Twenty years from now, you won't find them because they'll just be destroyed. What in the world? So it's three signals in one hole. Which is why the numbers will sometimes fool you. It's picking up all different things and the signals get a little strange. Whatever this is, I can't find it. signal. That's why I dug this. But a bunch, bunch of pieces of junk. Yep. Well, cool little machine. Well, that's for sure the last old guys were whipped and sweaty. And it's got to be after nine o'clock. I'm going to assume so. That's late for us. Be out. We're doing this. But you can still see the sky is still very bright, so. We'll uh, figure out what all we got and show you. Uh, yeah. Man, those Nighthawks are having a fit. Well, this is what I found Friday when I was by myself in this area. A quarter, three pennies, and one 1951 wheat penny. This is what Tracy and I found. Found a dime. Nine pennies and three wheat pennies. A 41, a 44, and a 57. Not bad. Plus all the junk we dug up. And the little case we found. It did, did open up. And it turned out it's just a rusty piece of junk. But rusty case full of rust. Rusty case full of rust, exactly. So that's what we found. So we didn't do too bad for an area that had been detected in the past. So we definitely will be going back, but it won't be today because what's the temperature out right now? It is 88 degrees. 88, so a little too warm for that. Thanks for watching.